On April 20, 2020, Chandani Kayum, her husband Ryan Kayum, and two other relatives, Carl De Freitas and Anthony Alphan, were returning home in a 15 HP engine boat after selling provisions and coconuts at the charity market on the Esquibo coast. At about 2100 hours that Monday, a Guyana Defense Force GDF vessel crashed into them. As a result, the husband fell overboard, Alphan was pinned under the boat and sustained injuries, while the freighters managed to escape unharmed. Chandani received injuries to the head and shoulder. She was hospitalized for two days. In a telephone interview with the newsroom, she recounted the horrifying details. When we left, one of the cousins had a boat boat, and by the time I left, I asked them to flash in the boat. And when I lift my head to see, the boat was already in our boat. So it they already knocked, knocked my husband and then I didn't know nothing no more. When I catch myself, I was in the water. I had a fight enough, but um, I keep stretching my hand like to feel if anything to hold on, but there was nothing. A while after, I feel a fat horse in a man. And I hold on his pants and he eventually the pants left in my hands and he keep pushing me down. And when I hold on, he loosen my fingers. So I, and when he, when the pants left in my hand, I keep scrambling and I'm feeling nothing. Like maybe he pushed me away. And I kick up my foot and I jumped up and I holler, help, help. And then I, I didn't know nothing no more. When I catch myself, there was, Pressing my stomach. I vomit. I want the coast guard ask me if I'm okay. I tell him no. And he continues. And then I tell him yes, I'm okay. The GDF vessel was returning from charity to the floating base with four ranks when the accident occurred. The ranks were seen drinking before leaving for the Army's floating base at the mouth of the Pomeroon River. It was also reported that the vessel had no headlights. The newsroom understands that according to standard operating procedures, the ranks are only allowed on the river at night if there is an emergency or operation. Meanwhile, police and army ranks spent two days searching for the missing Mr. Kayum without any success. It was until Mistress Kayum was discharged from the hospital that she led the search team to where the accident occurred. She told the newsroom that she expected to find her husband alive. Well, I did expect to find him alive because I know he knows to swim. And due to the injury, what my husband gets, he showed a break, five a hearing break, so maybe he couldn't swim or something. The couple was together for 10 years. Chandani explained that she and her husband did farming, but also bought produce from other farmers in the Pomeroon. She estimates that about 100000 in goods went down when the boat crashed. She said another 380000 which was earned from sales, was also lost. The boat, which was a rental, is beyond repair along with the engine. Regional Commander Woman Superintendent Crystal Robinson told the newsroom that the investigation into the accident was completed and the file was sent to the Director of Public Prosecutions for legal advice. The captain of the GDF vessel was arrested and subsequently placed on station bail, while the three other GDF ranks were put in the custody of the Army. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Patwo.